And I'm not claiming that bioenergy is the sole answer, but it's one of a whole battery of technologies at our disposal. It's not novel. I mean, mankind's been burning wood for energy for millennia. Uh, what we want to do is bring that into the current technology and use biomass to produce energy, but more particular in terms of the research we're doing at Nottingham to provide an alternative for liquid transportation fuels. If you want to do a fermentation process and you want to produce fuel, be it ethanol that like Catherine produces or butanol like Nigel Minton produces, you have to feed the yeast. They require sugar. In particular, they require glucose. Now, if you're starting with a plant biomass, it's rich in sugar, but it's not glucose. They are polymeric sugars. And what we do in our research is we take the, the plant biomass, we treat it, we add enzymes that break down those polymers to produce the glucose, and then that glucose is there ready for the yeast or the bacteria to carry out their fermentation. And bacteria are particularly adept at doing this because uh, one of the breakdown products of uh, plant biomass is uh, pento sugars uh, and bacteria can eat those rather well. So really uh, my part of the latest project is right at the end. Uh, I, I guess I'm taking the best of the science that's upstream of that in terms of understanding what plant materials we could use, how we deconstruct them to form a liquid. What I do is I create a fuel out of that liquid using yeast. This is one of the largest projects I've ever been involved in. Um, it's, it's probably the most complex as well, involving the most different disciplines um, in one project. It involves a lot of academic researchers, uh, plant scientists, um, uh, engineers, uh, agronomics modelers, um, enzymologists, uh, experts with fungi and yeast strain development and obviously fermentation science, which is my component. But we also collaborate with a lot of industrial partners, uh, and so that's really quite interesting as well. So our industrial partners um, uh, really cover all of those areas, uh, and that's been very interesting, because we can see where the com commercial benefits might be of some of the things that we're, we're researching now. What one has to realise is it's not just biofuels that we need to generate from renewable plant biomass. We have to look to all the other chemicals we currently make from uh, fossil fuels. And that's kind of what we're also interested in, trying to make this organism a chassis almost for producing all manner of chemicals that we need. It is very rewarding. It means that no two days on this project are the same. Uh, we can be looking at uh, data uh, that we get from the lab on one day and, and really uh, looking through the literature, uh, reading the work of others and comparing our data to theirs and, and also uh, making new discoveries and that's very rewarding scientifically. But then you can be working alongside uh, these industrial partners and they can be talking to you about uh, certain aspects. So for example they'll talk to you about legislation, uh, policies which might encourage them to go in one direction or another in terms of the kinds of uh, technologies they might choose to deploy and of course they've always got their eye on what will be economically viable which we don't always need to think about when we're thinking about the science that underpins the process.